Hello, how is it going? It is Fico coming at you once again with another Legends of Runeterra video. Today I would like to share with you guys a Yasuo deck. This is going to be a Yasuo control to be more specific. Uh, since the meta is going to be slowing down as we move into patch 1.2, I don't see why Yasuo can't stand a bit more of a chance. It was already pretty strong before. But yeah, let's give it another crack. We also received a comment from the shy guy, 16. Thank you. Are you so deck, please? Brackets, love you, vids. Uh, thanks, man. It means a lot. And you've got it, dude. Let's jump across in a moment and we'll have a look at the cards and talk about them and what they shall be doing here. Just like to encourage you guys, if you're interested, please feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions about anything or if you're interested in seeing something specific. I'm more than open to ideas. Thanks, guys. Without further ado, we should obviously talk about uh, Yasuo itself in case some players might not be as aware about it at a minimum. But at this point, you know, most of the players these days are pretty... Whatever, doesn't matter. I'm going off topic. Blah, blah, blah. Yasuo, so basically he revolves around the stun and recall mechanics. He levels up through you stunning or recalling units, whether it's recalling your own units or theirs. It also counts, by the way. Uh, once he levels up, he'll basically be striking anything that is stunned or recalled which is pretty insane because when you strike something by the way you uh do not really take the damage you don't really die you sort of just sticks around doesn't matter if they have more hp or less you'll just strike them for free damage and it's really strong also when he is on his preform he still he gets to deal two damage to a unit which is still kind of relevant and can be used in the early game to you know pick off annoying minions or followers as we call them and champions but without further ado, let's look at the cards that are here supporting him. At the moment, the other ch champion in disguise is going to be Katarina. Loki kind of has a little bit of synergy with, through the fact that she has the recall mechanic, which can go alongside also being your other helpless follower, which is going to be Blade, uh, Faye Blade Twirler. This is going to be like your early game strong minion that does a lot of things and needs to be uh, cleared because it's quite threatening if undealt with. Basically, whenever you stun or recall a unit, grant me plus two, which is pretty strong. This thing can, without a doubt, get to a high attack without a problem at all. This is probably one of your early game minions that you kind of look to try and protect as well. So Katarina also gets that uh, Blade's Edge when you play her, which is not too irrelevant to either. This kind of goes good for dealing with the early game and can be pretty flexible here and there. So that's like the main core of the package in terms of units. Around that, let's talk about some of the spells and other big boys. Yone Wind Chaser. Play this, you stun two enemies. It just, it's a great fit. This is your top end big boy. He's just, yeah, he's got the synergy. He's here for the fact that he's a seven mana six six. You stun enemies. What more else is there to say, really? The more of the highlight of the deck is probably going to be also Minotaur Reckoner. This is going to be your super controlly tool and big annoying idiot that just sits there and denies your opponent from making any productive plays. This is really because every round starting, stunning the weakest enemy. And you know, weakest is the highlight here, but if they only have one unit on the field, then stunning it. Obviously, you're always going to get tons of value if it's on the field, and you're going to set up some pretty annoying lockdown with this deck. It's not gonna, we're not going to call it a full lockdown, but this is pretty much control. Uh, intimidating Brawl, stun all enemies with four or less power. This, you know, this may be subject to change, but for now, this is quite a powerful card still. It found a lot of value against uh, aggro decks and as well as mid-range decks as well throughout the early game. You can do some pretty tremendous board clears with this in the right situation. But most of the time, you'll be kind of fishing for just getting rid of a couple of threats throughout the mid-game if needed, or for slowing down your opponent as well. This could be used for great stall as well. Even if you haven't got your Suo or in a synergy on the field, you can just play this. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, Will of Ionia, three of. Will of Ionia is already just a powerful card. And in a deck like this, it finds even more synergy by the fact that obviously all of our units synergize with uh, recalling. So really powerful. It could be used as like low-key cheap removal later in the game as well if you've already flipped your Suo. So this card's very, very powerful in this deck and should be a three of. Spirit's Refuge, this is a one of. I had two of it at one point. I uh, don't think we'd ever have three of, but one of, just in case it helps to kind of grant, for example, Yasuo a barrier against another mid-range or Bannerman deck can sometimes just be really, really good for maintaining your board because we have very few units in this deck. Uh, Concussive Palm, this is a recent addition to the Rising Tides and finds a lot of value in this deck. We're going to talk about a, a few other cards here in a moment, but this pretty much is a four mana stun and it summons a three two. 
So the most obviously similar example here is Arachnoid Sentry. One mana more, you have to play as a fast spell. And every now and then you are going to recall. So on my list in particular, I'm actually running two copies of Retreat. This is low key. Like since we're going into a slower meta, I think cards like this can be a lot more rewarding. And this, this deck in general doesn't really have card draw. So this can kind of go hand in hand as semi like value card as well as like being able to react to certain plays as well as protecting your important units i'll give you an example you can obviously play uh retreat to pick up your shadow assassin replay it and draw cards but what's more interesting is if you consider in certain turns where you have maybe a shadow assassin in hand you have a katarina on the board or a sentry on the board you can always just kind of bring back your sentry use that uh second part of retreat sorry, to play return to resummon that Shadow Assassin. You can keep the sentry in hand for more stun later. So as I said, it does make for some low key value. And as well as if it's threatening your units like Katarina or Yasuo, you can bring them back to keep them safe. You can also go for like blocking units. You can also retreat them to keep the value. I really like it. I want to fit more of this in, but for now it's just going to be a two as I kind of experiment. So some of the most uh, common additions you may see here is the Shadow Assassin as we just discussed and the Retreat. As I feel like we're going into a slower meta, cards like Shadow Assassin and Retreat probably just find a bit more value. But if things start to speed up again, we're probably going to be putting in cards like House Spider. This was already kind of used before. This is pretty much a very similar list to uh, Mogwise prior to the uh, patch update. And generally, House Spider is just a pretty powerful card, and it also does go pretty well with our Retreat if we need to. But House Spider is another option, depends what your meta looks like, but we'll see how we go. Obviously, we talked about Sentry for a moment, but this is pretty much a 3 mana 3 2 stun an enemy, provides a body while synergizing with your deck. There's not many cards like this, so we run Arachnoid Sentry. If, for example, in the future we start to receive more stun support, then we'll be able to change cards like that because this is probably on the weaker end of cards but still finds a lot of value especially if they slow play on your opponent's turn it gives you time it buys you time you stun their enemies and it really helps in the early game now transfusion three of this could be subject to change as time goes on but for now it's been finding me a lot of value for protecting key units like katarina as well as yusuo I don't think this should really change it especially since we are running retreat like we're able to kind of punish like deal damage to our board Retreat them if we have to, bring them back. Transfusion is a nutty card. Burst speed makes it really insane. Uh, Fade Blade Twirler, we discussed this, really strong in the early game. It could be used for semi combo mechanics. Uh, one of the other additions is going to be Ravenous Flock. Deal 4 to an unit if it's damaged or stunned. Makes a lot of sense in this deck. We have a lot of stun support. This is low key 1 mana deal 4, which is pretty insane and definitely fits well into this list. An elixir of wrath to round out the deck this kind of helps for like powering up katarina or protecting your sewer or taking unfavorable trades uh, this this card finds the most relevancy against mid-range decks which are kind of like can go toe-to-toe -to -toe against us it kind of just empowers our matchup against mid-range i guess so i guess uh, on a final note i would just like to add this deck will struggle against aggro if you're going to be facing a lot of aggro and if things change we're going to be looking to like maybe take away take away the shadow assassin to put cards like house spider back in we punish like we're pretty good against mid-range decks if we play it right your tools will kind of buy you time while you set up for a big annoying reckoner that can just sit there and stun your opponent's board um we'll have to wait and see i'm curious about like the heim of i matchup but that's probably going to be like probably one of the most important ones to look out for but you know we have a couple games here hope you guys can enjoy it uh thanks always for the support and i'll be seeing you soon Yikes. This is going to be a tough one. Can't keep Shadow Assassin. Maybe the house spy needs to go back in. Uh, that's only just for this matchup, though. Nice. Feed yeah, right now I'd like have a house fire to chump block him here.
Do a five head pass. Because maybe he plays a one drop here. I can play Katarina. Fortunately not. This is just to put a 3-2 onto the field. Holy shit. That was big brain. So I should always swing here. I'll take this trade. Yes. Batter him. I'm always going to take this trade too. Radiant Strike. I lose the board pretty hard if he has a combat trick here. I'll take my chances though. Sure. A will of Ionia. So with this guy, it's when you stun or recall. So if he has to play will of Ionia, get punished. So let's play you. I get punished by Will. Let's go swing a cat. I'll stop you. Gee, I can actually go if I really want to. I think it might be worth. If I kill it, my this makes no sense at all. God, does this make sense? I mean, mid range bannerman, board control units. Hey, soft man, what's up, buddy? How you going? Congratulations on reaching diamond. Nice work, dude. I don't level up cat from this because I kill it. Holy shit. So prior to that happening, what's happening here is I'm killing this bright still. My attack's not going through. No level up on cat. Yo, Tenkoa, my man. How are you? Thanks for popping in. So that was a pretty expensive turn from us. Thank you. No worries, Softman. Lamau. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good draw. My brain wasn't working either last night. If I can send you guys a print screen of my uh, match history last night, let me tell you, that was a that was a shocking. We're talking like probably like ten losses in a row trying to play with jagged plunk, jagged taskmaster, jagged taskmaster, master. Tons of one drops. So I always just stun here. Nothing else is kind of as a 
pro working. And if it denies this, then shit. If he denies this, I think that's good for us. He's already dropped double single combat. It's going to be hard for him to actually force. Yeah, he doesn't want to. He never wants to do that, right? He's used two single combats. I walk this space between worlds. He plays a Shen. He doesn't attack with a Shen. What do I do here? Yone? Yone. Yone. It's my biggest dude. I don't think I'm going to have the opportunity to play Yasuo into Yone. For the chance that he hasn't got a unit here, this is uh, big damage. So he rips out the barrier. My quick attack gets fucking cucked. I mean, all it takes is like a repost. And it's a feels bad, man. But if I can get him to drop his resources to kill my unit, maybe that's just worth. Try to keep up. So I should always swing with everything here. And he may have the resources to kill my caretaker, but I believe that may be worth because Fiora is the bigger threat here. I'll take it. I think that's good. I think that's really good for us. It must be done. My duty. Strike without worry. Gonna play the Minotaur Reckoner here in case of the last single combat. Yeah, Will, sure. Two Wills down. Aye. Stun's the weakest enemy. Tenkua redeemed Hydrate, my guy. Tracy is going to be busy over the next couple of weeks. He may not be popping in. He does uni, you know? He's a busy, busy man. If I float, I got th 12 mana to use next turn. 4, 8, 12. I think I actually don't promote the Blade Toiler here. I have 12 mana. Double denies in hand. You saw in hand. Ravenous Flock. We got so many options this turn. Me, 
What are you trying to get me to do here? If I block like this and he has an answer to buff his guy. Do not interfere. This is less commitment. Post. Our wills align. Unyielding spirit. I will this. Nature blesses her followers. Okay. Are you? It's important that we keep the Reckoner safe. Have nothing more to give. Like... The eye of twilight. He most likely can't save his Fiora right now. Which, that's on my high priority list. Minotaur Reckoner stuns the weakest enemy. Are you the weakest enemy? You have 11 stats. So I always deny this deny. I've got another one backed up. Are you stunning the weakest enemy? That's surely not the weakest enemy. You have 10 stats. I don't really know what's the weakest enemy here is. I guess Shen. Will's a really good find. Will is an insane find. We can play this slow, I'm pretty sure. I dare you. Like I can probably just keep passing my turns now. And slowly just draining him of resources. It should be pretty hard to lose this with that last will that we found too, plus deny. So I always deny this. Wait. What's happening here? I should have let this go through. This is always... Like, what do you do here? You try and... That's... Like, I actually could attack here and, like, look for fucking him up. But I don't really need to. I'll close out the game in a couple turns. This has just been super safe. Weakest enemy based on attacks and health. Yeah, like, I should have known that, but... Yeah, it's over. I really didn't need to attack there. One step closer to redemption. I will just keep the blade dweller. It's something to play on curve. This is a nice curve. I don't think we have to play Katarina on turn three. Maybe there's another list without Katarina that might be better now.
Okay. Think you're fast? Cute. I'm going to stun you, so I can buff my dude and put a body on the field and not take three damage. Underestimate. I dare you. That egg. Did it move? He wants to play like Curse Keeper or something? I'm actually gonna play Katarina here. Cause in case he has grasp of the undying. Like, I don't know. Maybe he clears one of my dudes. To the point. Try to keep up. Probably could have swung with the three tool as well. That's okay. Fine. Yeah, I should have used a blade's edge there. I could have pushed three damage. He would have just waited till after I attacked though. Any reason to hit you? only purpose to fall. Okay, let's save our Yasuo here. The journey doesn't get you the rope, Mike. Pick on someone your own speed.
So he most likely develops a strong board. I'm actually going to use my intimidating role here. This is going to slow him down tremendously and punish his caretaker a little bit, so I'll take that. Buffs the shit out of my dude. Six. Let's actually stun you. You obviously have to block this. No, 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 no. My saplings. my fate.
I'm actually going to choose to conserve my Spirit's Refuge here instead of using it to maybe block here. I want to clear these two guys so I can swing big next turn. I hope I can just dodge another Glimpse Beyond. I chose a blood transfusion on this one, it's probably like the least uh, resourceful person to damage. It also means that like, I can't really get punished by Vile Feast, unless he would choose to like, you know, go out of his way to spend that last two mana to hit this, this turn. This is just pretty much like me choosing what time I want to go in. And buffing the Yasuo transfusion prior to the attack makes it so like, I don't know if he had like a... Let's say... What's that card called again? I forget now. So obviously you block here. You, ca you have to block this. You can almost just swing with this and this too. I guess swing with everything here, for sure. I've got Transfusion and Spirit's Refuge to outplay like, you know, Grass Beyond Dying and stuff. Also consider trying to push for lethal. There's no way you'd risk not blocking that. Reasonable. So we always just transfusion here, I'm pretty sure. There's no point in really negating him healing, is there? No. Withering whale. What? This wait, I think I'm pretty sure I just have to blood transfusion. I don't need to commit Reckoner over commitment into Ruination. He hasn't got mana for double atrocity. And what's the worst that could happen? He, I stop him from playing atrocity by stunning you. I guess I should just be playing this to like deny the attack. Retreat's really good here. Denying the attack means that like I have prior with my Will of Ionia now and like he can't, he can't atrocity, like he can't do the attack thing where he attacks and then atrocities. Dina Reno, hello there. What's up, buddy? Ah. This is kind of interesting now. I can still win this. I just have to will this. Oh. A fast speed spell. Shit. How do I? I am. I see it. Here's our chance. With this barrier, Vice Spirit's Refuge. 
My Spirit's Refuge, does it like negate all the damage first or does the damage go through first? I should let that go. I guess we'll find out. So if I was to put this here, would I be dead? Uh, it looks like I'm healing. Yeah, nah, it does work like that. Interesting. Probably should have blocked the bigger dude, but that's fine. I can still fix this up. So I want to block the bigger dude. Will this dude? Trade this. It yeah, looks good. Do it for science. It's complete. So apparently the uh, barrier healing negates what I assume. I don't know why. So the overwhelm damage must go through first then. Because he has attack, I'm guessing. I don't know. That just must be a simple rule of thumb of how Will of Ionia works. Kind of wasted my retreat here a little bit, not thinking about this line. I did think about it, but I wasn't sure about this science. Get excited. Rain here is opinionated. You know, it's really interesting to know. Well, we'll see. Like, maybe it does damage me. Uh, nothing happens. It must happen at the same time. Yeah, it should be GG. Like, what could you possibly do that? makes any difference here you could uh be sitting on double grasp double grasp kind of saves him here but he's it's pretty unlikely he's already played one he needs to have exactly two grasp here double withering whale i guess does the same job too gg your mother One step closer to redemption. One step closer.